Hey guys, welcome to the Candace Twyla Show. Today we have an amazing guest. She's got some advice for teens and other people trying to be teens on the internet. And she has a special on Netflix directed by who is that again? A uh, Martin Scorsese. Who is that? What I love about Fran is that she's old, but still interesting. Let's welcome Fran Leibowitz. Yes. Fran, what advice would you give to teens? I'm not really crazy about teenagers. <gasps> what? Why? I must say, I didn't even like teenagers when I was a teenager, yeah. including myself. Maybe you just didn't get into the right hype house. I have a theory about teenagers was that uh, teenagers main intent in life seems to be to annoy those around them. So I feel that one of the less populous states, like Wyoming, should be cleared of all adults and all teenagers should move into the state. Just a teen state, in which case they could all, you know, wear dark glasses, breakfast, and annoy each other. I understand you're not on social media. Not at the moment. Let's keep it that way. But you're known for your observations about culture. I have my fingers on the pulse of America. How do you know what's going on if you don't scroll? I get a lot of prison mail. But on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and for old people, Facebook, social media is where life happens. It doesn't seem like real life to me there. Uh, um, would you consider yourself popular? I'm widely watched. Is it hard being famous? I find it exhausting. Every time I walk into a suburban mall, everyone wants to take a picture with me. If you don't want to be recognized, you could be an electrician. Like my friends say, I wouldn't know how to scroll in a light bulb. <laughs> What's it like to be rich and popular again? It's not the same thing as being rich. Well, Fran, you would be if you were on social media. <clears throat> when did you start writing? I didn't know how I got into it, and I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> what do you think has been the key to your success? I believe in being yourself at all times. Ooh, like authenticity? Ooh, that'll make a great microblog. Who are your heroes? There are very few people I identify with anywhere. Fran, that sounds like you're depressed. Just say the word and I'll help you set up an Instagram. You probably have a more likable image. But you have your own style. Not everyone is brave enough to go on camera without straightening or bleaching their hair. You could ticket them. Right, fashion police. <laughs> To be good at social media, you just act like it's a party, like high school. I went to a school where pep was mandatory. Oh, so you should know. This was before self-esteem. I don't get the connection. I agree. What were you like back then? I didn't finish high school. Then pretend it's like college. I didn't go to college. A decision I made the day I got expelled from high school. Fran, you're such a rebel. The official charge was that I was usurping the power of the headmaster. More people were listening to me than to him. <laughs> It's time for our lightning round. Dogs or cats? Dogs are the worst. Cats, I don't mind because they stay inside. You don't see them. Ring light or softbox? Overhead lighting. Unflattering. <laughs> it's the kind of um, harsh, direct lighting that is unflattering to the heavy smoker. Surfing or snowboarding? I mean, beach bunny, you can tell. Mountains or beach? I like the beach very much at night. Thanks for coming, Fran. It was actually quite entertaining.